Happy Halloween everyone and welcome to a special Halloween video. Um, today I will be drawing my characters Nettle and Cat as monsters. This video is a bit of a I'm sorry I didn't post a Friday video and also kind of I wanted to post a Halloween video. Um, you guys will also get an extra video tomorrow because I want to post the end of October all my drawings so that will be a video tomorrow as well. So you get two videos this week. Woo! So today we're drawing, as I said, Nettle and Cat as monsters. And as you can see, I already started in the sketch. And I wanted to make Cat a skull cat, a floating skull cat. I thought that would be quite cool. And Nettle into a ghost. I was just thinking what would fit the characters best. And Nettle fits to be a ghost because she's so shy. <laughs> I was actually unsure what to actually draw for Halloween because I wanted to do Nettle and her friends um, dressed up for trick-or-treating uh, as kids or maybe do random character design that was Halloween special um, but I ended up with this just because I got suddenly inspired on Sunday to start sketching and I got something that I kind of liked um, I did have to leave it for a night <laughs> and come back to it just because um, you know, uh, when you get tired of looking at your drawing and you can't see all the problems and how to actually fix them. Um, but I do like the outcome, um, kind of imagine it as a little poster kind of thing with a creepy ghostly nettle and a big giant skull cat, basically. So you guys know my process by now, um, I do a rough sketch and I do line art and then flat color, I'm trying to figure out the coloring and yeah, exactly. Um, since there's not much to talk about when it comes to the actual drawing, um, if there is anything, I will mention it during the speed paint, during the voiceover. I'm sorry, I am actually a little bit sick and that's why my voice kind of sounds like this, but I guess it kind of fits the Halloween theme, so I thought it would be okay anyway. <laughs> so before I talk any more about Halloween and um, destroying. I wanted to say that I have officially launched a Kickstarter. Um, it is for my Inktober drawings uh, because they're in a story. I wanted to print them as a storybook and I wanted to give you guys the opportunity to buy the storybook. Um, of course there's still one more drawing for today <laughs> to be drawn and then tomorrow you guys will see all the drawings but if you want it printed with the poems and everything then you should go and, and um, support that Kickstarter, I would leave the link in the up corner, right corner, and also in the description box below if you want to go check it out. Um, it's only £8 plus shipping to get the book, and then you can get two other things if you want to pay a little bit more. Um, but it's a very simple Kickstarter, it's my first Kickstarter, so we're starting small and building it up, so if you want to check it out, again, the link is in the description box below. So with that out of the way, I wanted to talk a little bit more about Halloween and Halloween traditions. I don't have any special traditions right now. Um, I did used to go trick-and-treating, of course, when I was younger and absolutely lo loved it. And when I got a bit older, too old to go trick-and-treating, I started dressing up at home and scaring kids and giving them candy. Um, but when I moved out, uh, that kind of all stopped. So now I'm kind of... Um, left in a limbo where I don't have any traditions. So if you guys have any traditions that you want to talk about or share, please comment down in the comment section. I really, really want to know, um, especially if there's some traditions I might be able to pick up. Um, this Halloween I will be giving candy to kids at the door, not dressing up I think, um, but I will try watching some new Halloween movies that I haven't watched before. And just generally eat a lot of candy. Um, and also pumpkin carving uh, at work, which will be very fun. But we are reaching the end of this little Halloween special. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, I did go back and forth between having Nettle a blue ghost and a yellow ghost, and I ended up having her a kind of a yellow greenish ghost just because it fits better with her color scheme originally, and also because um, she stands out more in the composition. Um, but that is basically it. Um, you can see it's a bit zoomed out right now. Um, that is mostly because I like working on a small scale when I'm figuring stuff out for the composition. 
um, I'll zoom in here and there so you can see some more detail. Anyway guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful Halloween, a scary Halloween, a sweet Halloween, whatever you do, and um, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.